Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to convert an ASP.NET MVC view to PDF view using Iron PDF. So I've created an ASP.NET MVC app in Visual Studio 2022 using the .NET 6 framework. Uh, you have to install the Iron PDF library to use it in our project and obviously I've already done so. Uh, you can do it by using the NuGet package manager or the NuGet website. So let's go to the home controller. This is the home controller code file. And here I created an action method named get HTML page as PDF. At first I initiated the Chrome PDF render object, which helps to create PDF from HTML. After that, I use render HTML as PDF function to create PDF from HTML string. In the parameter, I pass the HTML string and it's very basic HTML. You can use complex HTML if you'd like, and Iron PDF also uh, supports styling. I created a variable name content length and set the value of this variable equal to the length of the binary data of the PDF file which I created. Now I added two headers, content length and content disposition. I set the value of the content length header equal to the string converted value of the variable content length. I set the file name and the content disposition. And after that, I return the file object with PDF's binary data and content type equal to the application PDF. Um, it, that'll allow us to download the PDF file. So now it's time to use this controller to generate the PDF. So let's open the index.cshtml. Uh, so this is the index.cshtml file from the views folder within home. I've created a heading with the content Welcome to Iron PDF. After that, I created an anchor tag and added some styling to make it look beautiful. After that, I set the ASP controller property equal to the home controller and the ASP action property equal to get HTML page as PDF. And that will configure uh, our home controller when we click on it. And then I set uh, the text as generate PDF. Okay, so let's run the project and see the output. So it looks like this in the br uh, browser, a heading uh, and a button. So we'll click the button. And it shows the download file. And click on Start Download. And this is the file generated by the Iron PDF. Uh, is precise as expected. You can also convert a URL to PDF. Um, so I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's go back to the home controller. And we'll change the function from render HTML as PDF to render URL as PDF. And in the parameter, give the URL of Google, because I'm going to convert the Google page to PDF. And return to the browser and click the generate PDF button. I'll show the download dialog again. Click down, start download. And we'll open the download a PDF file. And this is the output PDF file generated by Iron PDF from the URL of Google. And it looks perfect. The nav bar, the logo, input fields, and buttons are rendered perfectly. Icons preserve their high quality. The colors are the same. No difference. Overall, it's perfect and the same as the web page, which is exactly what we're looking for. And even the input field, uh, you can type on it. It's working. So you can generate basically PDF as well as format the PDF using HTML. You can set the paper size and edit the content on an already existing PDF file. You can create a fillable form. You can add page numbers and breaks, insert and extract images, and a lot more functionalities. Um, so I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, our support team is standing by, ready to assist.